What's up guys? All right, let's talk restless leg syndrome. All right, if you are trying to taper off Suboxone or if you're going through opiate withdrawal, you're probably gonna battle this bad boy, all right? And it can be brutal. Um, so what can you do about it? Well, there's a few things you can do, all right? So prescriptions, there's some prescription medications that can be helpful, like uh, Requip, Mirapex. I mean, those are kind of like the, uh, the standard restless leg for anybody with restless legs that can be helpful. Those could probably help too, right? There's also um, some that we use specifically for opiate withdrawal, so that might help uh, more than just your uh, restless leg syndrome, but some other withdrawal symptoms, uh, one being Neurontin. Um, so a lot of you are probably familiar with Neurontin. No. Neurontin just kind of, they, they changed some of the, the way it's classified, so it's considered a controlled medication now. There, there is some risk for abuse, um, so be aware of that and be careful with it. Um, the other uh, medication that uh, can sometimes be used for opiate withdrawal and particularly restless legs is clonidine. Clonidine is an alpha antagonist. It's an old school blood pressure medication. Um, and we actually sometimes use it for ADHD to help people rest at night. Um, uh, so uh, it is in the same family as that new fancy medication, Lusamira, which I did a video on um, some time ago. Um, that Lusamira is very expensive, but has been shown to be helpful to some people uh, during that acute withdrawal phase. And so clonidine can also be uh, useful, but it would be considered probably off-label. Um, so, you know, your doctor would need to know what they're doing and, and how to treat it. But it, it is a medication that your doctor is probably going to be very familiar with. Um, so, so those are some, some good medications you can talk to your doc about and see if they can help you. Now, what about some over-the-counter meds? Um, well, one is, uh, uh, so over-the-counter meds to maybe you need to consider not taking. So Benadryl, because a lot of times we'll, people will take Benadryl during their withdrawal syndrome, right? But Benadryl could uh, make your restless legs worse. So if your restless legs are getting worse and you're taking Benadryl, consider that as a possibility. Also, Phenergan which I guess goes back to the prescription meds, but Finnergan uh, that we use for nausea could possibly make your restless legs worse. Uh, melatonin. So sometimes I use melatonin for folks uh, during withdrawal when they're having trouble sleeping. Um, in fact, I often recommend it to folks, especially when they're just kind of tapering down. Maybe they're not, especially if they're not tapering off, but they're just tapering down, I'll, I'll tell them to get melatonin. Because sometimes what they're considering withdrawal is really just more anxiety and they're, they're not sleeping, their mind's kind of racing. And so that melatonin will help them just kind of rest and relax. But in some cases, it's been shown to make restless legs worse. I haven't seen that to be um, applicable in my practice, but there's definitely some reports out there. So be aware if you're taking melatonin and you're having bad restless legs, and if it's not helping your restless legs, then you're probably not sleeping, then the melatonin's probably not working, okay? So, um, the other thing is uh, uh, some other treatments. I mean, you can do some things like, you know, like a warm bath. Uh, you can put a little magnesium salt in your bathtub. Things like this will just help relax the muscles. That might help. Um, the thing is, man, restless legs, are gonna, it's going to be bad. Um, and you're just going to have to fight through some of that. But, again, I'm, I'm giving you some, some options to talk to your doctor about because there are some things that can help you get, you get through this. Now, some people are going to say CBD oil, okay? I don't know. I'm going to say uh, not enough evidence out there um, right now uh, to say yes or no. Okay? You can try it and see. CBD oil. Um, uh, some people are going to say marijuana. I don't advocate using drugs, so I'm not going to say smoke marijuana. Uh, some people are going to uh, say kratom. Um, what's up, buddy? <laughs> All right. I, I'm doing a video real quick, okay? All right. So some people are gonna say Kratom or Kratom, whatever. Now, I don't have enough experience with this to give you a recommendation, all right? Uh, I think you need to be careful with this. I do think it could be useful, but I don't know enough about dosing it, et cetera. It's just not something that I um, have used. And so I do know that it can be addictive, all right? So don't you know, let the YouTube videos and the success stories 
you know, completely sell you. But at the same time, I use Suboxone, right? And Suboxone can be addictive. So um, I understand that it's got a place, but I'm just not, uh, I, I don't have enough information to give you to recommend it, okay? Um, and so there, there you have it. There's some options for you for restless legs. There's some things that uh, I would say probably stay away from or maybe try last or as a last resort. Again, this is not medical advice for you. I cannot tell you what you need to take because you are not my patient. Uh, unless you are my patient, if you are my patient, come talk to me personally, one-on-one. Um, feel free to comment, ask questions, whatever. But uh, I may not always answer specifically because, uh, uh, well, I, I, I just can't necessarily give, I can't give everybody medical advice uh, on the internet and you should not take medical advice on the internet. You should go talk to your doctor. All we're doing here is starting a conversation and uh, seeing where it takes us. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.